Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jen's Junk. My name is Jen. For those of you who have watched my videos before, welcome back. For those of you who are just tuning in, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas, everybody. 10 more days until Christmas. Are you guys counting down? <laughs> this has been so much fun. So yesterday, in my video, I showed you my collection of Star Wars bracelets from Alex and Ani. And so today, I thought I would show you my Harry Potter collection, which is actually quite extensive. <laughs> and um, I've built up this collection over the last few years, and uh, it's very exciting. I am a big Harry Potter fan as well. And so for today's video, that is what I'm going to show you guys. So let's get right into it, but make sure that you do stay till the end of this video where I'll have a little bit of Christmas trivia for you as well as eating my daily piece of chocolate. <laughs> so stick around for that. Okay, so we have a lot to get through you guys actually. So let's just start it off. The first bracelet um, that I'm going to show you, well, I should explain, um, if you do not know or if you have not heard Alex and Ani, the name before, they are a jewelry um, brand, uh, a shop, and they've been around for quite a while and they specialize in jewelry, bangles, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, rings, um, of all sorts of different types. So make sure if you have not heard about them, go ahead, check out their website. I'll put that information down below in the description box, but I'm sure most of you are familiar with Alex and Ani. So, okay. Now having said that, that let's get right into it. The first one I'm going to show you is this bangle. I think it was probably one of the first ones that I actually got and it is the Hogwarts crest and it has Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor with a silver finish. So let me give you a close up here. Here is the Hogwarts crest and you can see Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And this is just, it's kind of a two-tone. You've got some silver and gold here on the crest. And then the bangle itself is silver. As you know, the bangles are expandable. They are known for that. And then you've got the little tags here with the Alex and Ani symbol as well. So I do believe that this is one of the first ones that I collected. And um, what house have you been sorted in if you are a Harry Potter fan? I was actually sorted into Hufflepuff, and I don't mind. I mean, I'm proud Hufflepuff. I'm not afraid of toil, and I'm loyal. And uh, so, yeah, so it was kind of cool to be, to be sorted into that house. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you, I think, is also one of the first ones um, that I got, and it is the Deathly Hallows. It has a gold finish. So let me show you a close-up of that. And it's beautiful. So there's the symbol for the Deathly Hallows. We've got the stone, the Elder Wand, and then the Invisibility Cloak, right? It's been a while since I've read the last book. <laughs> so, um, but really beautiful, great to add to my collection, the Deathly Hallows. Um, and I think that was the one that I first got as well. I honestly can't remember which one was my first bracelet that I got. So if you hear a lot of clanging, it's because I'm just trying to pull out these bracelets one by one and there's a lot of them. Um, this next one I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite characters. You could call it a character in the Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter series. And I believe this is one of the first bangles I got as well. It is the Sorting Hat, and I just love the character in the movies and the book as well. And here is a close-up. Hopefully my camera is kind of focusing in so you can see the detail on that. Silver finish. And we've got the Wise Sorting Hat there, which is a great addition to the collection. And like I said, I believe that was one of the first ones that I got as well. <laughs> the time just goes by so fast and they do, they do release a new Harry Potter bangle every month. And so for quite a while I was doing that, but then it got to be too expensive and 
I just kind of let that go a little bit. Um, so, but I, I did amount quite, quite a, quite a bit of a collection. Um, so the next one I'm going to show you is probably one of my favorite, and it is, um, it says always. And so we know that refers to Severus Snape, Professor Snape, and um, Lily Potter. So here is Always. It's so beautiful. It's actually very beautiful. And it's a silver finish. And so who else cried? I cried. I mean, Snape. Snape is my second favorite character in the Harry Potter um, Sega and of course he was had this unrequited love for Lily Potter Harry's mother spoil alert if you have not seen the movies or read the books um, and um, yeah he's he's my second favorite character I really I really adore Snape he's just so um, misunderstood but anyway it's a, it's just kind of a, a beautiful side storyline and he, always is his reply when Dumbledore asks him. Um, okay, so moving on from that, um, we have this bangle that is actually two-sided, and this is one of the newer ones. I think, I believe I picked it up maybe earlier this year, I think. Um, it has a rose gold finish, and most of the bracelets are usually, you can get in silver or gold. Um, they do have some bangles that are rose gold, and but not all of them, they don't all have that choice. And this one did have the choice, so I did get in rose gold, because rose gold is one of my favorite finishes. And this says, it is the quality of one's convictions that determines success, and then you turn it over, and it says, not the number of followers. So I'm gonna show you a close-up of that, and hopefully my camera will focus a little bit. Here's the front, and then you turn it over, and it has that on the back. Very, very cool, and then you can see the rose gold finish. Very pretty, I love this kind of like minty green background with the gold leather or the rose gold lettering on it. It's actually very beautiful. All right, um, so the next one I'm going to show you is one of my favorite quotes, um, and it is a Dumbledore quote, of course, because he is so wise. And it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. And I just love that quote from Dumbledore. It has a silver finish and it has this lovely blue background with the gold lettering. And then you turn it around and it actually has Harry Potter's glasses and lightning bolt scar. I never noticed that before, but I thought that was kind of a cool detail on that one. But I love that quote. That is one of my favorite quotes of Dumbledore. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you is um, it kind of like a potion. So it is Felix Felicis Liquid Luck. And it's in gold, and it's actually very pretty. There's a little glitter element to it. So of course, we've got that. Professor Slughorn offers that to his class. And Harry uh, pretends to put it in Ron's drink so that he becomes the <laughs> um, yeah, keeper for their Gryffindor um, team. We all remember that scene. It was a fun scene. Um, this next one um, is one of my favorite um, spells, Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. <laughs> as Hermione would say. This is also in rose, gold, in rose gold, and it has a pink background, and then you have the spell, or the incantation, and then you've got the feather, because in the movie and the book, they're working on getting the feathers to, to rise. So that's a very pretty, I love that one. That's a great one as well. These are all great. It's really, <laughs> I love them all, which is why I got them all. <laughs> um, this next one I think is one of, the, one of the first ones I collected as well. There's like four, four that I can remember. And this is platform nine and three quarters. And it is kind of a gold and silver 
plated on it. Oop, if I can get it to show correctly. So here we go, nine and three quarters, which of course everybody knows of, and it has a silver finish on the bangle itself. So I love that one, and that was along with the sorting hat and the um, Hogwarts crest. I think those were like my first three that I ever got um, that I can remember. So um, this next one is a newer one as well that I picked up, I think earlier, probably earlier this year. Um, it is in rose gold and it says, you're a wizard, Harry. And it has a witch's hat on it. And of course that is a quote by Hagrid. And let me give you a close up of that. So pretty. You can see the quality has kind of gotten better over the years with Alex and Ani. Um, so pretty cool. All right, the next one, <clears throat> Swish and Flick. I love this one too from the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, swish and flick when Hermione is teaching them and she is caught up in the girls restroom when the troll comes in right um, so this is another very nice one it does have silver and gold on this one it has kind of like a gold trim on it and let me flip that around so you can kind of see it swish and flick the bangle itself is silver and that is another one of my favorite ones. I love that scene in the movie. <clears throat> um, another one of my favorite ones is um, turn to page 394. So this next bangle um, refers to Snape and it has a cauldron bubbling and it's kind of like a green potion. Um, and so here is the bracelet, it is silver. And then you've got turn to page 394. I like that scene when Snape is taking over for Lupin because we all know that Lupin is a werewolf and uh, Snape is making some trouble there. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Um, this next set, this is actually, um, a set of three bangles that I did purchase and it is um, Expecto Patronum, one of my favorites. I say that about everything, but um, I just love everything I guess. So it did come in a set of three um, and it was a special set. So we have kind of an accent bangle, which just has kind of like a, like a light purple color. And then we have Expecto Patronum, and it has the, the light purple stones above and below it. And I think, does it have it on that one? No, not yet, okay, it must be the next one. And then on this one, you can see the stag, and then it has the three light purple stones. So we all know that Harry's Patronus is the stag, and so that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful set. So it actually came in a group of three. Um, this next one is also a set of two. And I believe this was a special for, um, I think it was like around Christmas. It was released around Christmas. Um, they, both of the bangles are in rose gold. And it, of course, is um, Molly Weasley's hand knitted sweaters for Harry and Ron. Um, so here is Harry's sweater with the H on it in blue. And then we've got the matching BFF for Ron in red. So this also, I believe, came in a set of two. And it was like around Christmas time, I think a couple years ago. So very cool. They are BFFs. And of course, Hermione rounds out the golden tril trilogy, the golden trio. <laughs> I'm thinking movies, trilogy, I don't know. Um, this next one has to do with Christmas as well. Um, it says, I'd rather stay at Hogwarts this Christmas. 
And this was a beautiful bangle, and so I picked this one up. It has a silver finish. And so here is the front. I'd rather stay at Hogwarts for Christmas. And then it has a light blue, um, a light blue accent, if I can actually <laughs> turn it around um, to go with it. A little accent on the bracelet there, on the bangle. And then there we go. I would love to spend Christmas at a Hogwarts. Who would not, right? Who would not want to? Okay, um, these last two bangles or bracelets, I use those interchangeably, um, are two of my favorites and because it has quotes from my favorite character. And if you have watched my videos before about Harry Potter, you will know that Luna Lovegood is my favorite character. So this first one, is one of my favorite quotes from her. You're just as sane as I am, and it has her specs on it. I love this. I wear this whenever I start to feel kind of doubtful about myself, and just a rem lovely reminder to myself. And it has a gold finish. How lovely. And then um, this next one of Luna um is <clears throat> very very special to me and it's two-sided um it says oh it's very emotional when i think about it actually um for many different reasons so it says things we love have a way of coming back to us in the end and then you turn it over and it says if not always in the way we expect and it has her shoes on it that she is looking for, of course, that some kids hid from her. Um, so it is a silver bangle. So we've got the front of the bangle here with the quote, and then you flip it over and it has her shoes. I always get emotional with that quote because it means a lot to me. So very beautiful. Okay, these next two that I'm going to show you are actually rings. They are expandable rings. And these are, I think I got these early on as well. The first one is an expandable ring of the Golden Snitch. Because as we know, Harry is the famous seeker for the Quidditch team for Gryffindor. So just very cool. And then this next ring is Hedwig. And then you've got the letter, Hogwarts letter. And they are expandable, so you can make them bigger or smaller, which I like. So there's a close-up of that, so very cool. And I don't know how many of you noticed, but there is a one more piece of jewelry that I need to show you. And it is one of my favorites, and I'm actually wearing it right now. It is Hermione's Time Spinner. Oh, let's take a look at that. There it is. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, my eyes are so bad I can't actually read. There's something written on it. My use and value unto you are something by, saved by, what you have to do. <laughs> I read that upside down. Give me extra credit points there. And it actually turns his, her time spinner. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cool? I love it. I wear it all the time and I get so many compliments on it. And of course, only the Harry Potter fans actually like recognize it. But it's just really, really cool. And it goes with anything. So you can sneak a little Harry Potter into your, your fashion during the day at work or whatever and nobody will... Nobody will know. <laughs> so you guys, that is my Harry Potter, Alex and Ani collection thus far. And um, yeah, I loved all of it. All the way, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But uh, like I said before, my two favorite bracelets are probably of the Luna Lovegood because she is my favorite. So drop me a comment below. Let me know which item was your favorite. And are we twins? Do you get the Alex and Ani Harry Potter bracelets as well? All right, moving on, you guys. Almost the end of this video. And it is time for your Christmas trivia. So you can impress everybody. Okay, so... 
Did you know mince pie became a nativity feast tradition in England after crusaders returned from the Holy Lands and flavored the Christmas pie with new found spices? So there you go. You know something about mince pie now that you can impress everybody with. All right, my favorite part, my favorite piece of chocolate. So day, today is um, day number 15. And day number 15 is right up here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop this open. <clears throat> it says, the child, 50 year old bounty. And he is a sassy 50 year old, isn't he? All right, I'm gonna pop that chocolate out and I need this piece of chocolate today. So I'm going to enjoy that. Mm, so good. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are not already. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram and that information is located on my about page as well as in the description box below. Drop me a comment below, you guys. Let me know which bangle or bracelet was your favorite and if you also have a Harry Potter collection from Alex and Ani as well. All right, so tomorrow, make sure you come back for day 16 of Vlogmas. What am I gonna do, you guys? I don't know. <laughs> Until then, have a good night. Nah.